that. In fact, what I will do is show you just one more thing with the... I've got to do one more thing, haven't I? I will do one more thing with that image, um, not the magazine. Uh, in fact, I can use the, the magazine image just to show you that you can use this for more than just flat magazine type things like this, which is I'm going to open up um, a different image. So let me uh, in my file system go and find that image which is, uh, I mentioned videography for weddings. Videography is hugely popular. The videographer is probably going to come to the photographer um, looking for good photographs for the cover of the DVD. So uh, that's what I'm going to open now. I have a DVD uh, box with a DVD in it and a cover. Right, I do have that magazine cover uh, on my clipboard, so that'll do nicely. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I have two smart objects in here. I have the front cover and I have, uh, it says CD, but it could be CD or DVD, whatever. So I'm going to uh, make sure that I go into my front cover, double click and OK to that. There's my cover. Paste my cover in. Now this time it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to use my transform command to make it a little bit smaller. It might look slightly compressed, but it won't look bad when it's on the front cover, believe me. So that looks OK there and save that and apply so and there we go go straight through to the front cover but i don't want this disc to be white i would rather that had something on it as well probably in reality i wouldn't use the same image but for speed here i will use the same image i will go in there and i will edit that and all that is is a white circle so i'm going to paste my image in there and you can see it's pasted it behind a mask there so what I can do is move this around until I get it just so now it does look a bit odd I need her over this side because if you remember what that looked like there was a hole cut out here where it was actually pushed onto the spindle and you couldn't see this side anyway so as long as I can see a little bit of her over this side I'm happy with that so I think there is just about right and again save that and apply and there you go, you can see it on the disc. And if you actually look in there, you can see that does look pretty much like a disc. And I didn't have to do much in the way of work at all uh, to make it fit or anything. I could use any image at all and it would just go in there and just fit. Now, what I'm using for this, um, and I will put this in the resource pack, um, I actually bought these. You can buy blank book covers, uh, magazines, all sorts. But if you want to just have a play around with it and not actually buy these things, because some of them are, are quite expensive, you can actually get them for free. One of the ones here that is very, very similar. In fact, the disc looks nicer. Um, you don't have any smart objects in this, but this is completely free. So you could make your own smart objects with it. Uh, and that's from PSD Graphics. So as I say, I will put that in the resource pack. But you can get things for free and do pretty much a similar job with it.